Hey guys, I just want to show you a couple of projects I had that I've been going with. Um, to start off with, I just got a new Turley last weekend. Uh, just took it out and beat it on some bur oak. Still shaves. Uh, convex edge, getting used to that a little bit, but I, I really like it. Big, heavy knife. Good, not real big, but heavy knife, you know what I'm saying. It's a good knife. I'm going to do a full review on that later. But I had to make a sheath for it. I made a dangler for a larger sheath knife. I, I, I like a dangling sheath. I like something that will move with me. Uh, when I get in and out of the truck when I'm hunting or cutting wood or whatever, I like to have something that moves that I'm not sitting on. Also, when you're carrying a pack, uh, it doesn't get, it doesn't dig into your hip. So, and kind of with that same design in mind, this cap is kind of does sheath something like this. Um, that you can kind of use different ways. I, I figured you can use this three different ways. Uh, this is just a little more. White Jaw gave me, thank you again, by the way. Uh, number one carry is just like this. <clears throat> Slide it right in a pliers pocket. Works pretty well. Number two carry is just flip that ring up. Put a shoestring or leather thong or something to there. I don't advise 550 cord. You can carry as a neck carry. Then, that still don't trip your trigger. Put a piece of 550 cord through it. And you can carry it like a dangler. So, three different ways you can carry this little sheath. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. It's the fourth sheath I've made. I'm, I'm happy the way it looks. I'm real happy uh, that uh, I'm getting a chance to do this leather work. I would like to thank once again Kepis and uh, Jat for the uh, the stuff that they post, and also Top Knot starting to post a lot of neat stuff too. So uh, once again, thank you guys for posting that on Bushcraft USA.